As a photographer, understanding light is a critical part of my image making. Manipulating light to sculpt my subjects is a major part of what I do. I need to be able to make people look good when I want to and characterful when I need to. Using a good reflector properly is a huge part of getting my light right. Whether you're shooting natural light, flash, constant light, if you're shooting indoors, outdoors, uh, even at night, a reflector can be a huge benefit to you. All of the commercial reflectors I've used over the years have had shortcomings. They don't always do what I want them to do. So I thought, why not create my own reflector? And that's why I've developed the Marshall Reflector. I'm not selling these, you can make them yourself. This tool is much more versatile than a commercial reflector. It allows you to do so many more things, so many more possibilities. Here are some images I shot with the Marshall Reflector. You can see that the light is soft when it needs to be and a bit harder when it needs to be. I can control that. It gives a beautiful natural wraparound light that really flatters my subject. I haven't yet explored its full potential with flash, uh, constant light or even video. This is just a first introduction to the Marshall Reflector. And Greg can see where that light's hitting Layla. In this video, I'm going to show you the benefits of using the Marshall Reflector in natural light and the results you can achieve. So you've probably seen plenty of um, YouTube videos and various tutorials about how to use a reflector. Um, I've used many different reflectors over the years. I've been doing this for 40 years now, so I've used a lot of different reflectors in a lot of different situations. But most of them are really difficult to use and they don't do the job that they're supposed to do. So I decided to make my own. This reflector is what I call the Marshall Reflector, just because it sounded really cool and it was my last name. So I've made this up and it's a very versatile um, reflector. It doesn't do everything that the 5-in-1 reflector will do, but it does a whole lot more. So we've got two core flute um, sections that are hinged together. We've got white, we've got uh, mottled colour because this is to simulate grey. I'd rather do the mottled so that I can control how grey the, the light is, so that this doesn't reflect too much light back onto our model. And we've got a black surface as well. Not only that is we've got a cutout here that I'll show you how that works and why that works. So there's a lot of different things we can do with this reflector. Now I'm not in the business of selling these. You can make your own. You can make one this size, you can make one smaller, you can make one bigger if you want to. I just want to show you the possibilities of using a reflector that actually does the job that it's meant to do. All right, we're going to show you some of the possibilities with this um, Marshall reflector. So we can use it as a standard reflector. We can just reflect that light back onto Layla when she's got her back to the sun and that will fill in the light on her face. Also, because the Marshall reflector sits flat, it gives us a bigger reflection than a twisted five-in-one reflector would. So it gives us a softer, larger light source. Okay, just turn your face towards that light. Yep, that's it. Great, that's it. Beautiful. Okay, that's fabulous. Another great advantage of the Marshall Reflector is that we can fold it out and use that viewing hole so that Greg or your assistant can see when that reflection is lighting Layla. He doesn't have to try and look around the outside or stick it over the top of his head. It's much easier for him and he can see exactly where that light's falling on Layla. Up the other way. That's it, yep, yeah, because we want to get, yeah, that's it, good. So 
You can see through there. Can you see, Greg, looking through that? <laughs> now, we don't want to see your face. We just want to see your reflection. Moving close. That's it. Okay. All right. That's great. Yeah. Beautiful, Ella. Terrific. Just move it in closer, Greg. That's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now, stay there. The advantage of having that larger drop down side is that we can reflect light all over Layla's body, not only on her face or her upper body, but down on her feet as well. So we can get a full length shot using that reflector. So I'm going to move back and just get a full length shot of Layla in her white socks. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, great. Yep. Beautiful. Do you like Layla's white socks? They look great. Okay, so another thing we can do with this reflector by using that viewing hole is that we can do some clamshell lighting. Clamshell lighting is light that comes from slightly above your model and also from slightly below, like a clamshell, so that it gives us a really beautiful glamour light. And we can do that with this reflector. We can't do it with any other one. That's it. That's great. And Greg can see where that light's hitting Layla. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. That's it. Lovely. Okay, fantastic light. Could have been shot in the studio, except for the people in the background. <laughs> Another thing we can do with this viewing hole is I can shoot through the middle of it, which gives us even more glamorous lighting because that light's coming from around the camera. It gives us a really perfect clamshell light situation. That's it. Fantastic. Just down a little bit because I'm short. Okay, Leila, yeah, great. Look at that light, isn't that amazing? Terrific. We've got that beautiful backlight on Layla's hair, and we've got that great front light on, um, on the front of her face, and we've got that clamshell up light just coming up. Now, the up light, we don't want to overpower the down light, so we can vary how much up light we get by just changing the angle of that lower flap. So we're going to do that now. We'll shoot it with the flap up and get a lot of fill. Then we'll shoot it with a down and get less fill. Just down a bit, please. That's it. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Now drop that bottom down a bit. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Great. So it's infinitely variable depending on how much up light you want and how much frontal light you want. The next thing we can do is use that reflector on the front of Layla horizontally so that we can have the return coming around the other side of Layla, reflecting in this side and reflecting on the front. So again, another possibility. That's it. And I'll just hold this here. You can hold that one here. That's it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Just turn your face towards Greg for me. Yep. Yep. Let's focus. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. So you can see you do need an assistant to help you with this stuff, but it's amazing the results that you get. If you had a smaller reflector, you could probably do it um, with just your assistant, but I just had to help Greg hold it there. Now, one thing that the Marshall reflector doesn't have is a silver side. The reason is that most of the time I don't use the silver because it's too bright in my model's face, especially when we're using it in sunlight. Even the white surface is a bit too bright sometimes. So we have a mottled grey side. So we're going to do it with the white side first, and then we'll do the mottled grey. The white is quite difficult for Layla to look into because it's so bright in that sunlight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, good. Terrific. Now we'll move it around to the grey side, please, Greg. That's it. Here we go. Okay, lovely. All right, so you can see that reflects a little bit less, so it's a bit easier on Layla's eyes when she's trying to be in front of it. It just gives us more possibilities.
Another advantage of using our reflector is that we get that beautiful catch light in Layla's eyes. It just gives her eyes that little bit of sparkle and attracts attention to them. Now we're going to use the black side of the martial reflector just to throw a little bit more shadow on one side of Layla's face. We'll do a shot before and a shot after. So just move back a little bit for us, Greg. Yep. Just going to move into the shade. Okay, here we go with some nice soft light on Layla's face. Pretty much both sides of her face are lit. Now we'll come on this side, Greg, please. Yep, get very nice and close. Yeah, that's it. That's great. Keep your face there, Layla. Here we go. Yep. Good. Little smile. Yeah. Okay, great. So you can see we're just modeling the shape of Layla's face a bit more because we've got that dark side coming in. It's still flattering light, but we've just thrown a little bit of shadow on that side. Now we're going to use the um, black side as a top light blocker. So we're going to put it over the top of Layla to create open shade for us. Open shade is a situation where we don't have too much light coming from above, but we have that light coming in from the front, which drops that soft light down and opens up her eyes a little bit more. Okay, in close to her head, use two hands because we don't want to drop it on her head. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, that's great. We might take it away first, Greg, sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's it. Yep, keep your face there. Okay, Greg. Yep, that's it. Good. Okay, lift your hand up a bit, Greg. Yeah, that's it. Okay, terrific. Thank you. Now, we can use that black side for a multitude of different purposes, but um, one major one is we can use it as a fan. We've got a little bit of um, wind here today to blow Layla's hair back, and we're lucky that we've got the wind coming from the opposite side of the sun so that we get that nice blowing back hair. But we're going to use Greg just to blow her hair a little bit more. We can use this reflector, as long as he doesn't destroy it. We don't want him to be too boisterous with this. So have a practice first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now come around the front here a little bit more, and Layla, you turn to look at me. Set. Here we go, yeah. <laughs> that looked really cool. Thanks, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll try it again. Wait for the hurricane. Wait for the hurricane. It's a little bit closer. Don't, just don't hit it with it, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Go. All right, now, Layla, can you bring your hair forward on both sides? Yeah, okay. Ready? That's it. That'll do. <laughs> the wind picked up at the same That's good. Okay, you can see, uh, you know, it's fun and frivolity for everybody when you use the Marshall reflector. Greg's going Greg's gonna to blow my hair just to, to show you what it looks like, too. Here we go. You can see, that's it, great. <laughs> You can see the difference that it makes. Now we're using it as a, as a background. We can use the black or the white, whichever one we want, but it gives us a studio look, even though we're shooting outdoors. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yes. Perfect. Just look down for me. Yeah. To the side a little bit more. Down to the side. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, we're going to use the white background now. Okay, a little bit to your left, Greg. Yep, down a bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, great. Just stay there, Greg. Now, if we get Greg to move back a little bit so that there's some sunlight peeping over the top of that white background, we can just highlight Layla's hair and give her a bit of a hair light from that sunshine. So just move back a little bit, Greg. Yeah, that's it. That's enough. That's good. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, great. So you can see, we could have done that with a black as well, and it would look even more spectacular because the, the light hair against the black background would look great. In fact, we're going to do that now. Okay, that's it. Lovely, yep. Okay, 
terrific. See, looks amazing. So obviously we can use this reflector in that way. We can use it to light, push light back onto Layla. Now, if we move that reflector further away, that light gets less intense. If we move it closer, the light gets brighter. It's just following the inverse square law as we all know it. Also, if we move it closer, that light gets softer because the size of the light source becomes larger in relation to Layla. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a shot with the reflector back a little bit, then we're gonna move it right in so it's brighter and it's softer. Okay, just there is great. Just make sure you've got that light, yep. Okay, lovely, that's good. Okay, now move it in closer please, Greg. That's it, great, yeah. That's it, fantastic. Okay, so if you could see the catch lights in Layla's eyes, you'd see that that reflector is larger in relation to the first shot. So it gives us a softer light and it gives us, gives us more light because we're in closer. Now what we're going to do is use the white side as a white balance tool. We're going to get Layla to hold the white reflector and we're going to use that in our processing to correct the colour in our light. Because this light is quite green here because we've got a lot of trees, a lot of green grass and the sunlight's bouncing off the green grass. Okay, that's it. Yep, lovely. Okay, we only need one or two shots because we can correct all of our other shots in that same sequence by just using that first one, that white balance tool. We can also use this as a lens flare tool, as a blocker, to block that sunlight on the front of my lens. Because if I'm in the sunshine shooting back towards the sun, which I do 95% of my photography, I'm gonna get sunshine on the front of my lens, which means that I'm gonna get lens flare in my image. I'll show you now by shooting this shot. Okay, here we go, lovely, yeah. So you can see that light on the front of my lens is producing a haze over the image. It's giving me lens flare. Greg's gonna block that sunlight now, so I'm in the dark. I'm not in the dark. Well, some people would say I'm constantly in the dark, but I'm just in the shade. So it prevents the sunlight hitting that front piece of my lens, and it gives me that beautiful light on Layla without the lens flare. Okay, here we go. Terrific, yes. Okay, now because we're shooting in this environment where there's a lot of green grass and trees, we're gonna get a bit of a green cast, particularly coming up off the grass. So if I shoot a shot of Layla here, you'll notice that green cast, particularly underneath her chin and under her nose and under her eyes. But what we can do is use our blocker on our Marshall reflector to block that green light coming up on her face so she's only lit by the skylight. Okay, here we go. Lovely. A couple of smileys. Yeah, okay. All right, Greg, put that in there. Yep. That's it. Great. Okay. Fantastic. So you can see the difference in those shots side by side. One of them's got that little bit of green cast. The other one hasn't because we've used that blocker. All right. Now we're going to show you one of the big advantages of the Marshall reflector and that's how quick and easy it is to use. I'm going to use the Marshall reflector to change surfaces. Greg's going to use a five-in-one traditional reflector. And we'll just time ourselves and see who can do it the quickest. All right, so here we go. Ready, start the stopwatch. Greg, change it from black to white. There we go. Now we're gonna change it back to black again. Change it to black, Greg. No, 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 we're not. You can see the difference. It's just much quicker to use, Gold. okay? Ah, <laughs> there we have a problem. It's not really a problem because the Marshall reflector has Velcro dots 
on each corner and in the middle we could get a gold sheet of cardboard velcro it to each of these surfaces we can customize all of these surfaces we can have silver we can have gold we can have blue we can have yellow orange whatever color we wanted on this reflector we could just attach it using these velcro dots okay why would you want to use a blue reflector well if you used a blue reflector you could reflect blue light onto your subject and in the processing you could do your white balance adjustment which means your subject would be back to neutral color but your background would be quite warm orange color we could do the same with an orange card have an orange color just similar to how we could do with the gold reflect orange onto our subject which means in the processing when we corrected that color our background would turn blue so creative possibilities are all there we can just change these surfaces whenever we want one of the other major differences between the 5-in-1 and the Marshall reflector is that the surfaces here are flat okay assume we're not being blasted by wind but the surfaces here are flat that surface is very difficult to hold flat so we get a nice soft large reflection with this one we get a, um, a diminished reflection around the edges and a hard one in the middle so it's not as soft and easy uh, and uniform with its reflection. So obviously one of the other benefits of having a flat reflector is you can put it on the ground and put your gear on it. If you're in the um, sand on the beach, put your reflector down, you can put all your gear on it, put your lunch, your breakfast, whatever you want, and it's going to keep it dry and keep it clean. You can't use the reflector while it's on the ground obviously, but still it's another use for the Marshall reflector. One of the big advantages of the Marshall Reflector is this sighting hole. As you saw before, your assistant can look through it to judge when the light's working on your model. Um, you can shoot through it if you want to, to give you beautiful frontal light. But we can also let that light come through, that sunlight come through onto our model to give us a gobo. We can get a rectangular light shape. We can change it around. We can use various different options. As I've got here, we can change the color of the light. We can change the softness of the light. So we're going to do that now and show you a few examples of how we can use this sighting hole on this Marshall reflector to be able to do those creative things. Okay, so we've got Layla sitting in the shade here. We're going to use this sighting hole to have that sunlight come through and just light her face in the shot. Here we go, yeah? It's good. Now as that sun filters through the trees, it's going to vary in intensity. So we just need to time it so that we get that obvious sunlight coming through. That's it. Yeah. Great. Okay. That's good. Lovely. So we can see that light coming down onto Layla's face in the shape of that cutout hole. Now we've got a few different cutouts here that we can use over the top of that hole. We've got a cellophane or a gel that we can put over it to warm up that light that's coming through that hole. We've got a smaller slit gobo that we can use just to throw a smaller highlight onto Layla's face. We've got some tracing paper here to soften the edges of that light so that it comes through in a softer way. And we've got a circular one that we can try as well. So we'll play around with a few of these and show you the results that we get. Okay, so Get this one on first. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's good, Greg. Yep, great. Okay, lovely. That's the round one. Okay. See it? Yes. All right. Great, that's our orange gel. You can see how that light's a little bit warmer on Layla's face. Now be aware, this is just a prototype, okay? This hasn't been um, uh, professionally manufactured or anything. We've just made this up to see if the principles work. Okay, so we just want that over one of her eyes if we can, Greg. Yep, yep. Good. Little smiles, yeah. Okay, now down across the other eye and across the nose, yeah, that's it. Good. Okay. So we can use any shape in that gobo. You can cut out your own shapes if you want to. 
The last one we're going to use is the tracing paper. Here we go. Okay, terrific. All right, so you can see all those different variations we can do with that little sighting hole. Gobos, different gels, um, diffusion material, all of those different things we can do with this Marshall reflector. And of course, we can do all of the normal things, pretty much, that the 5-in-1 reflector can do. The only thing we haven't got with this Marshall reflector is the scrim. And the scrim can be really handy with your 5-in-1. So this doesn't replace your 5-in-1 reflector. Or you can just have a scrim and this one, um, rather than have all of the other parts of your 5-in-1. Um, so it's not perfect, but you can see the advantages of it. Okay. <laughs> Did you get that in the background? Good stuff. Okay. Now move back closer to me, Greg. No, we've just got it on her nose. We need it on. Yep, up a bit. That's it. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Stick your face right forward. I'll move it back onto Layla's face. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Good. Yeah, put your fingers out. And... <laughs> Good stuff. So you can see, other than a Marshall reflector, if you bring a few wacko assistants and models with you, you can get some more unusual shots. <laughs>